All right, now you may be having a very powerful camera on your Samsung Galaxy phone, but you may not be using it to its fullest potential. So in this video, I thought I will share some useful tips and tricks for you guys. So keep watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about your device and do not forget to hit that like button. Uh, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now you see, by default, when you open the camera and start recording a video, you may not be able to play audio, let's say from YouTube music or any other music application on the device while you're recording the video. The moment you tap recording, the audio playback on your phone will stop. Now, what if you want to record a video along with the audio playing on your phone? For that, all you need to do is just go to the settings on your camera application, tap on advanced video options. Now here, scroll all the way down, you will see this audio playback toggle. Now by default, this may not be enabled. It says allow music and other audio to play while you record. Now what happens is when you're recording a video, you can continue playing the audio on a music application and that also gets recorded on your video. So just play a beautiful song as per the situation and start recording the video. Now. Whenever we want to scan a document, what we usually tend to do is take out the phone, open the camera application, point and shoot, and scan the document or take that image. But when we point the camera at the document, it doesn't capture the image or doesn't scan the image automatically. So if you want your camera to automatically capture the document, then all you need to do is just go to the settings again on the camera application. You will see scan documents and text toggle. Just tap on that. Here you've got this option called auto scan automatically capture documents and text without pressing the shutter button. When you enable this and point the camera on the document, it will recognize the document and automatically capture it without you having to tap on the shutter button. And you can also remove unwanted objects, automatically remove fingers from the frame when scanning documents. So if you're holding a document in the hands and scanning the document, the app will automatically remove the unwanted object like your fingers, which otherwise would look shabby when you scan a document. So this is something which you can check out and enable on your camera application. Next, we can make use of the shutter button to capture either GIF or a burst shot. Now, when we swipe down here and hold it, you can see it is capturing a burst shot here. And I almost captured about 57 shots right now by just swiping down and holding on the shutter button here. That's for the burst shot. And if you want to create GIF instead, you can go to the settings. Under pictures, we have got this swipe shutter button to take burst shot or create a GIF. Now, let me select create GIF. Now what I'll do is I will swipe down and hold the shutter button. You see, it is creating a GIF. You can create as long as you want and just let go of the shutter button, the GIF is created. So we have both options, creating GIF or taking burst shots when you swipe down the shutter button. Now on the camera apps settings menu, you've got something called intelligent optimization. Let me open this. As you can see, we've got quality optimization options here. This is for the images. We've got maximum, medium and minimum. When you select medium, it will speed up capture time by doing less optimization. If you select minimum, takes pictures as fast as possible by not optimizing the picture after they are taken. And maximum, this will optimize the quality of the image, but it will delay the capture process. So that is something to note here, but if you want better image quality, by default, you can let it at a maximum. But if you want to capture the images faster, then you might want to go with minimum or medium options. Now, if you're capturing a portrait image, don't just go with a default portrait option. Just tap on this icon here. You've got something called color point. We have got various portrait options here, but color point is something which will pop the color of the subject, keeping the background in a gray or black and white. And that gives you some beautiful images. If you don't want to straight away shoot at color point, you can always shoot in the blur mode and then use the color point effect to apply that black and white background and focus subject will be in color. Next, we can automatically set watermark on a captured image and we can change the position of the watermark as well. Let me go to the settings here. Now here we have got this option watermark. Just tap on this, enable it, and then you have got the option here. You can select the information to show up. You can select the model name, date, and time. Now when I capture an image, it will show Galaxy S25 Ultra, and then I can add the date and I can also add the time. Now this will be available right here at the bottom, but if you want to change the alignment here, you can make it to the center or to the right side bottom corner. And you can also change the font here. We've got two options, three options, by the way. We've got default option, 
Roboto and Noto, the third option. Now, if you don't want Galaxy S25 Ultra to be displayed here, then you can just tap on edit and write whatever you want to show up on that specific image. Maybe if you're traveling abroad to a specific country, you can just mention the country name here. Every image that you capture will have that country name or the place name. So depending on your requirement, you can change or edit the uh, name here, which will be a watermark on your image. Next, there is a feature called selfies as preview. Whenever we take a selfie image, the camera will flip that image to make it look realistic. For example, if I have lifted my right hand here and taken a selfie image, the actual image will look exactly the same. You will see the right hand lifted. But what if you don't want that to happen? What if you want the images to be previewed as it is taken? For that, you just go to the settings again, scroll down, you will see this option, save selfies as preview. It says save selfies and selfie videos as they appear in the preview without flipping them. So by default, it flips them to give you the right orientation of the image. But when you enable this feature, it will look exactly how it looks in your viewfinder when you take the image. So we do have that settings. Depending on what you need, you can enable or disable this. Now, if you're someone who take log videos on your Galaxy phones on OneDevice 7.0, then by default, you will see log option or log format only under pro video. Let me go to mode here and tap on pro video. Now you will see log format option right here on the top. But if you go to the video option, you will not be able to see that log option here. However, if you want log option even for the regular video, then you can just go to the settings here and tap on video options. And here you can tap on log video and select video and pro video modes both. When you select this, you will be able to see the log option even on the regular mode. As you can see, this is the video re regular video mode and we have got log option right here. Now let's say you do not want your shutter button to be always at the center. You want the button to be placed wherever you want. For that, we have got a setting. Just go to the settings on camera application, scroll down and tap on shooting methods. Now here you will see this toggle floating shutter button. When you enable this, you will see the default shutter button. Along with that, you get another additional shutter button which can be placed wherever you want. You can just press and hold on it and drag it and keep the shutter button for one-handed usage. Next, in the same settings, let's go to the settings here and tap on shooting methods. And here you will see one more option, show palm. Show your palm to camera to take selfies or start recording selfie videos. Now on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, we do not have Bluetooth support for the S Pen, so we will not be able to use the uh, S Pen to capture images or videos. But the alternative option is showing palm to capture or start capturing the video or capturing the images. So you can enable this. Whenever you show your palm to the camera, it will start capturing the video or capturing the image. Next, if you're someone who uses Samsung Galaxy phone's camera extensively, then you need to make sure you download this GoodLock module called Camera Assistant. Just go to GoodLock application and here you will find Camera Assistant module. Just download it. Once it is downloaded, it, it will get integrated into Camera Application Settings menu. Tap on Camera Settings and here you will see Camera Assistant. Just tap on that, you will unlock more powerful features which will get added to your default camera application. As you can see, we've got zoom shortcuts. We can add 2x and 10x zoom shortcut, auto HDR option, picture softening options, auto lens switching, distortion correction, advanced resolution options where you can set adaptive pixel or upscale digital zoom. If the resolution decreases due to zoom, upscale pictures back to the resolution you selected, which is a fantastic option you need to enable. And then we have got quick tap shutter option, prioritize focus over speed, video recording in photo mode. You can just touch and hold the shutter button to record videos in photo mode. And then we have got timer multi-photo options like you can capture one picture or you can increase the number of pictures when the timer kicks in. You can select three pictures, five pictures or seven pictures instead of just taking one picture when you use the timer. Another useful feature which we have here on the camera assistant is save videos to external storage. You can automatically save videos to an external storage device connected to the USB-C port on your phone. You can just plug in a pen drive through the USB OTG connector and then start taking images and videos. All those files will directly get saved on the external drive which is pretty advanced option that we have. Now we saw some important settings to change on the Samsung's camera applications which are available by default and we saw camera assistant. Now there is one more powerful application which you need to download that is Expert Raw. When you go to more, you will see Expert Raw right there on top. Just tap on that. It is going to download this Expert Raw application from the Galaxy Store. Just tap on install. 
Now what this will do is, it will help you capture the images in RAW format. It offers wider dynamic range, letting you capture a lot more from dark areas to bright areas in one photo. So that's a very advanced application, a very powerful application which you must use in case if you are a photography enthusiast. As you can see, this application is almost 500 plus MB and this offers some amazing features which you guys should go ahead and explore. Once it's downloaded, just open Expert Raw application. You can open it directly from the camera application or you can uh, access it from the app icon itself. Now this is a new interface that you're gonna see and we have got more control over a lot of settings here. We've got some tools here. We've got the settings button here, which will look something similar to the default application. We've got raw option. We have 24 megapixel option, which is not available by default on the camera application. And we have got this tool here. You can see when I tap on that, we have got additional options, night sky, night long exposure. So here basically we have got more control on the camera for taking pictures. So this is a must have application if you are using Samsung Galaxy phones camera application. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think. If you have got any additional tips to share, do share it in the comment section. Let's discuss over there. There are many other videos with loads of tips and tricks for you guys for the Samsung Galaxy phones. Go ahead, check out the channel. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. The wallpaper that you're seeing here on my home screen is from Volvers application. It's a free application to download with both free and premium categories to unlock. Go ahead and check it out. The download link is in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.